Is navy a thing too? Navy is definitely a thing. If you aren't a dwarf. <laughs> we don't know what boats are, but other people do. Order 84. I need to get like all the way to like 999. Then we take Diplotech. Peace. Influential trading family? Ooh, half price trade guy. Finally, a discounted advisor. We will run him at level 3. I will run level 3 half price advisors. I don't like to run level 2 full price advisors. I like to get that extra monarch point. Makes it feel more worthwhile. Alright, we're finally there. We did it. Production efficiency. Dev costs minus 20. Heretic and Heathen Provinces will not give any penalties. More policies. Trade efficiency. Production efficiency. Access to the artillery combat ability. Policy. And now, the moment we've all been waiting for. We get to Diggy Dig for 24 Monarch Points. Pretty sure there's nothing else we can get that's going to make it cheaper in the capital. Right? Do advisors live 200 years too? No, they don't. They have to have this. This immortal long lived. And it actually seems a little bit bugged sometimes. Every now and then you'll get a dwarf that like has a, a regular trait for their first trait instead of immortal. Remember the dev for the mission? I think I'm saving that for the next tier. Or uh, we need to go to 70 right now. So I want to save the mission to go to from 77 to 80. So we're just going to dev using mill mostly. Actually, dip is better long term. They're both good, but. Okay, so we're at 70. We can now deepen the capital. Diggy, diggy deeper. 11.9 years. Boo! Hmm, and this is why we want integrated goblins in the capital. If we had integrated goblins... See how we've got these goblin minority, local construction time, minus 10%. If you have a goblin majority that are coexisting, it's local construction time, minus 20, which does speed up the construction of deeper digs. So it would be a lot faster. Unfortunately, we have very little reduction to construction time. If any, do I even have any construction? Construction time minus 20. Damn. Eleven years. Mm. Yeah. It'd be really cool if you could like redirect your your minorities, because we do have goblins, right? I've got goblins here. Goblins here. Large minorities of goblins, like I'm into the tunnel. I'm live inside. It's warm. It's safe. I'm sit down by the fire. Insane uh, construction time reduction can be insanely strong. Yeah. We could promote the ruby dwarf culture. I'm not really sure that we need to. Seventy-two ducats a month now in income. Holy crap! That's pretty good. And our truce is up here. I'm assuming he's not giving us trade power anymore. He's ready for another beatdown. Just gotta keep on praying on our neighbors for reasons. I like money. I'm 
Do you like money? Because I like money. Gold mission? Oh, yeah. Well, I forgot that was a thing. Okay, we're saving this until... There's no real reason to push to 77 right now. Because once the hold upgrades to level 5... It's going to increase local development cost discount even more to 700%. So it's going to bring this price back down again. So we just wait until the hold is done. Then we go to 77. Then we do the mission. It takes us to 77. Then we go to 80. Then we dig again. And then once we're at 80, we'll be at level 6 central hold. We can get this passive digging speed upgrade to our non-centralized hold. Non-capital hold. And... Uh, Maybe... Maybe I should have done this click. The 10% capital hold would save us a year or two. And and more on the on the tier 6 hold. How deep can they go? I've gotten to 6. I've never gotten deeper. I don't know if you can go deeper than that. I assume maybe, maybe you can. How deep are they? Diggy dig. Whoa, this dude is threatening our capital. He barraged it. Not our capital, our thing. But I took his capital. Hmm. How rude. We had prosperity there, man. What the hell? It's just time for you to pay your taxes. Just stop resisting. I don't think he wins that siege before I full occupy him. So we'll end up at 100%. And then we don't actually have to fight him. Although, I've changed my mind. I want to fight him. He's a jerk. He sieged my stuff. Military laborers. All right, so I didn't update this mod because uh, it's not part of the actual Steam Workshop. But low stack, uh, you might you guys remember yesterday we were having issues with this the system that doesn't actually work. Low stack posted a, a version that's better, apparently, but I haven't tested it. So just be aware that there there may be a fix to this this thing not working. He's gonna occupy it. Fourteen percent chance. <laughs> I mean, I could peace out right now. 14% chance. Hmm. All right, let's see what happens. Oh. It didn't fall. What? You know why? It's because I reloaded the game. I changed the fate. The, the, the... The gods, the dice roll fate. Why would we go that way? Really? 26th of the 12th month? Versus the 4th of the 10th month? They're that averse to marching through colonization land? Strange. What's my income at? We're at uh, 84 ducats a month.
Got him. More manufactories, more workshops. When did this mod come out? The mod's been around for, I think, I think about two years now. Hmm. Okay. Well, we are not ahead of time on Abentech, but we're we're done with the idea group at least, so. This guy's allied to some rando. We're just trying to take one fort. So let's take his hold. Because we can can. Uh two siege pips? We have 57 tradition right now. Might make a difference. Grab the two siege rip leader, gouger. Aw. Lose stab, but why? I don't like losing stab, it's mean. Time for the old hold, yeah. So we should have plus two from our leader, plus seven from the artillery, because we're dwarves. Uh. It's like he's uh, bringing a 13 stack that way, so I'm going to reorganize. This is the one that's got the two siege pips, so we'll give him the artillery. And then enough to protect it. And then this army is going to come to, like, there. I might be able to bait him into turning around. Once he sees that I'm trying to carpet siege him. <laughs> Aired him. How many times have we fought this guy anyway? I feel like we've done this exact same war against him um, a number of times. Whoa. Dude's got 20k troops and he's actually trying to fight us. What's up that? Oh, I forgot to piece this guy out. <laughs> he's just been sitting there like, uh... Uh, excuse me, uh... Did you resolve this situation? No. Alright, um... As soon as this falls, I don't think I need to fight this 20 stack. We're just piecing out with the war leader. I'm not gonna go down and try to separate piece the, uh, the other guy. Oh, what a poor guy. Poor guy, he's got no fort here. It's a it's a, it's a surface hold, he repaired it, we're gonna siege it. Please don't kill my armies. Oh shit. Never mind. There's a goblin a goblin cave horde there. Wait, are they gonna destroy it too? No, oh, rip rip kobolds. Kobold soldiers just died. Now 
National Bank. That's a great event. Lose five inflation. We have none. Gain one stab. Go back up to three. Sweet. 1,600 crowns. Yearly inflation, 0.05. Or interest per annum for 50 years. Since we have economic, it does kind of stack kind of, nice, kind of decently. We would have a 3% interest rate. I don't think we often take loans, though. Well, actually, we will. We will take loans probably to do some of the deeper digs, right? Versus the yearly inflation reduction. Yeah. Okay, we got the capital. Give. 51 AE. Just give. I don't care. Done. Easy. I'm curious. Oh, that became his capital now, but there's no fort. Having a blast. Several mining engineers come to us over the last few days with a single word on their minds. Explosives. Minas Tirith will be done 413 days earlier. If only this actually worked. What do you mean by technically safe, it said. Alright, so I'm going to unstate this area. So that we can core territorially for now. Uh... I'm still behind on admin tech, so I'm going to do it that way. Spend military points to get some admin points. The poor exchange rate. So that's going to get destroyed, right? It's going to go to a damaged hold now. Cool. We're profiteering in Cold Fork. Cold Spoon gets goods produced. Sure. And I don't plan to full core this one for a while. And we have economic ideas, so I think we just raise autonomy. It's fine. Alright. I'm actually at the point where I might consider just running the game on speed 5, because the main thing I still want to do is just experience this diggy type stuff. And, uh... All these wars are making us a ton of money, and we're definitely snowballing like crazy, but it's just... You know... Do we really need to keep on... Playing perfect? I want to do the mission tree, and I want to I want to change the other country. But the min-maxer in me just... Doesn't want to switch... yet. Did we build a fort here? Building a marketplace first. I don't think I have a fort there yet. Take all the mountain pri provinces. Speed 5 to the endgame crisis. There's an endgame crisis? No spoilers, man. Spoiler. Okay, I need... Uh about 999 Dipple points. Military tech, we will just wait until it's down to no penalty. We have a casual 56 supply in the capital. Yeah, I actually started today off reading uh, or, or watching the video about Diggy Dig. Can't be worth it. Never mind. Alright. Looming disaster. Horde curse. What? Can be stopped by not being greedy and having less than 200 ducats? Horde curse. So because we have a monthly income of at least 150, we're now gaining progress towards Horde Curse. It's time. Are you supposed to be getting it this quick?
Hmm. So, the thing is, we can delay its progress by having less than 200 gold. It would have the following impact if it's, if the disaster fires. So, unless I'm mistaken, it's going to take 100 months of having over 200 gold. It's not going to, like, reset it or anything. Should I tweak things to accidentally, like, should I lower my income on purpose? I can, probably. If I just turn off some of my edicts and stuff. Let me think. Like, I can try to squeeze in, like, 149 income per month, you know? I'll need the gold anyway. Is this going to be, like, one of those absolutism disasters where... Oh shit, we're over the governing capacity by a lot, too. Didn't even think to check that. Hmm. It's just because we're a duchy. You have to spend a lot of money through the event chain, so should we actually stockpile cash then? Running manpower everywhere wouldn't work. Running manpower would increase our expenses, but not affect the income. The problem is because we have too much income. Well, okay. Let's just play on speed 5. No more offensive. Well, hmm. let's just play on speed 5. The thing is, if I go to war... Um, With some of these guys that have higher amounts of dev, this guy's got 102,000 troops, but they're losing a war somehow? Really? Screw it, let's attack Fireheart. Okay, I'm done with my lunch. I'm gonna go steal a whole bunch of money from Fireheart. It's gonna be great. Ready? Maybe, um, oh, he's bordering me now, too. Sneaky, sneaky. Who are you? Oh, the elf guy. Well, power projection is slipping, so maybe we should attack this guy. We wanted to get the elves anyway, right? Elves are strong. How strong? 54,000 troops. They're two. They're one tech behind me. I think we can take them. His capital is only a level one fort. He's got these like little tiny trails through the forest. It looks like deep woods. Yeah, they're like they're like trails through the forest. Kind of reminds me of like the caravan routes in North Africa. That guy versus these guys who are. Uh, are these... I can't... I don't know what they are. Are they dwarves? Prediction this? Okay. Oh, there is a prediction going. Someone started one. Min-max to the death, speed 5 to whatever. You're, you're, you guys are trying to just... You're betting on whether or not I'm gonna... That's a sneaky prediction. I wasn't supposed to see that one, was I? <laughs> Check their army stats in the ledger. Alright, what's their name? I just rivaled them so we could find them easy. They've got... 115% discipline, 23% professionalism, 31% tradition. Their morale is... 
down because of land maintenance? No. Their land maintenance is maxed out right now. Their morale is low. Hmm. How bad will this be? Our treatment goes up. Minimum autonomy plus 30. 2.5 yearly corruption. Advisors get expensive. Interest per annum plus 8. Yearly inflation reduction minus 0.3. Stab cost plus 50. Lose taxes, lose trade. So it looks like... To me, it looks kind of like an event or like disaster. You need to survive by having a large enough stockpile to get through the events. Based on the way that they're penalizing loans and taxes and trade. But there's also um, no penalty to production. So maybe it's supposed to be like about relying on yourself or something. I need, I need forts in this thing down here. And we obviously need a fort here once that core is done. I don't like how they were able to like march around through here as well. That was annoying. Uh, you know, this isn't a bad spot for a fort. Covers all three. It's in inside. Covers this so we have zone of control in case there's rebellion. It's better than building it here, probably. Yeah, it covers the whole state. So I'll just do it there. I don't think I need one along the road. Fort in isolation? Old with mithril? Did we not build something up there? We did not. Yep, okay, so I was planning on building one here anyway. And then potentially here if we conquer it. Hmm. I actually think I want one here too, even though we've got one right there. Because we're gonna have one here that projects to there, this projects to here. So I kind of want one either here and here, or here and here. If it's here, this one projects to that, this projects to that. I like having forts on either side of the tunnel. It's cool because like, say an enemy comes in this way, and then they have to choose which way do we go. So they go to the cave, where you have a, a two dice roll penalty for them. Once they siege this, and they come back out, they're still stuck in now this zone of control, so they, they still can't progress down the tunnel. They've got to take both forts before progressing. That's kind of nice. So maybe we don't build a fort here, because I think I want them on both sides. Of course, having lots of fort maintenance is going to be a bit costly if we have a, a big disaster type problem thing. Why was that orange just now? That's not a hold, right? Oh, it's at the building cap, that's why. That color made me think that there was a, a hold there that I never built. Okay. What does a fort in a cave look like? Um, awesome, obviously. I think I might bite the bullet and just pay these points now. I already started coring this, right? So... Alright, let's get that done. It's only for 50 years, but... No? I wish I had done that before we started the fort, or the dig. Build big buildings to get wrecked by disaster. Glory hold. <laughs> 